Hello everyone and welcome back to this Let's Play series of Star Trek Online. My name is Winters and you are very welcome. So this episode we are going to continue on with these story missions. Uh, our next story mission is called Doomed to Repeat. So let's get our mission brief. Founder Odo has something of interest in the Masson system. Something the other founders want no one to know about. Even one of their own. It is unsettling. The Founder and I will travel to the Masan system on your vessel. The Cardassians and Starfleet are sending ships to assist us as well. Be advised, after Karima, relations with these allies are somewhat strained. If things become volatile, friends could quickly become foes on this mission. Victory is life. Right, okay, so... Um the only thing worth no noting from the mission rewards here is uh, actually this universal kit module. Um, the other stuff, yeah, you know, who cares? Well, I suppose uh, a Mark 12 um, Pol Polaron dual, dual beam bank is not bad. Um, yeah, I want beam arrays on mine, so I'm not going to pick that. I'm going to pick the universal uh, kit module instead. Anyway. Remember. We will accept the mission and uh, jump in and uh, we'll begin. Only a few founders. They should. So far, so good. They're not targeting us. Right, so. One of the things that I want to talk about uh, during this mission is. Uh, you do not have authors. There's no. Oh, these abilities Fire down here. Odo must not be harmed. So, these abilities down here are called uh, cruiser commands. And uh, all cruisers or engineer ships have them. Dominion forces, this is Councillor Garrick aboard the Tain. Cease hostilities. Consider that your first and only warning. We must protect the Founder. All ships, disengage! Impressive. I... We... Un so, yeah, uh... Captain Kira makes a good point. All cruisers uh, have these uh, cruiser commands. And uh, this one, um... is uh, weapon system efficiency. Basically, it reduces the weapon power cost uh, for each weapons by, in this case, well, it is always the same, 25%. Uh, this one here is called Attract Fire. Basically, this draws aggro onto yourself. Now, depending on the cruiser that you are flying, there can be up to four of these cruiser command abilities. Uh, we are flying a Dreadnought Carrier, so there's actually only two. Uh, but uh, normal bog standard cruisers will have four. Uh, one of them is a uh, the weapon power reduction cost. Uh, another one is an increase, a passive increase to shield regeneration. Another one is an increase to flight turn rate. And then you have uh, the final one, which is a track fire, which is a plus threat generation. Um, there are basically three different types of ships in Star Trek Online. You have escorts, you have cruisers, and you have science vessels. Uh, cruisers, as I have already said, get cruiser commands. Escorts get an experimental weapon slot, and science vessels have a secondary deflector. Uh, so that's what they all get, and it's just, you know, a bit of flavor. Um, adds uh, a little something, a little bonus uh, for playing different types and forces you to, you know, um, vary your playstyle a little bit, I suppose. But anyway, we will uh, beam down to, well, it's not a planet, it's a station really, isn't it? It's on an asteroid. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we'll beam down and we'll uh, like continue on with the mission. Stay vigilant. We have no idea what to expect here. Well done. Main power is back online. We'll be able to access other systems, including the data core. Let's find an access console and see what's in there. 
Hopefully the data files aren't corrupted beyond repair. Okay, where are we going? Looks like we're heading down this direction. Next door. This one. Hmm. Yeesh, there's a lot of green circles up there. Search with so there's actually a lot of voiceover in this mission, and um, some of it is very interesting. Uh, uh, so, as always, as I've always said, um, I thoroughly recommend uh, when you guys are playing these missions, and indeed the whole story, Research. Uh, or all the different story arcs. Excuse me, God. Uh, pay attention to the story, and uh, enjoy the voiceover, and take it in, because, uh, um, well, in my opinion, anyway, uh, <laughs> Star Trek Online is the only Trek that's currently going on now, because um, I'm not that impressed with Discovery, um, I'm sorry to say. I'm picking up something on... But, um, yeah, uh, the Star Trek Online has some really, really good Trek in it. And uh, take the time, enjoy the story, enjoy the voiceover. I mean, they've got so many of the actors um, in the you game now. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. All right. Well, that answer, it gets worse. Worf and Martok need to see this. Dum dum dum. That, of course, was, uh, I believe it's the Fakiri. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm picking up. We've got company, and they don't look friendly. Come to Papa. Okay, moving on. Let's see if we can draw them down here to the uh, mines. And moving on. By the prophets. Come this way. Let's get into all the mines. Come on. Come on, yeah. There we go. There we go. That's what I want. More incoming. We need an exit plan. Fast. Big Mama's in the house. Odo Takira, we're on our way to assist you. Keep on coming up this way. That's that's it. Keep on coming. Right. Got some more mines here. Maurice, are you? Where's he at? Where I'll, I'll manage. Typical. Let's get out of here while we can. Victory is life. 
Or seconds. Yeesh. Uh, speak with Odo. Where's Odo? There's Odo. I think we've won. Return to the turbo lift. Let's see. Yeah, okay, so we're going back this direction. Looks like the Herc followed us down here. See that thing there. Keep moving. We're almost there. Odo, look out. Hold your fire. I think it's trying to communicate. You might be right. Listen. Are you insane? Well, that put an end to that. All right, talk to Weyoun. I'm relieved to see Odo. And moving on. Enemy Looks like we got a good few of them there with those mines. I love it when a plan comes together. Once we return... <sighs> Looks like we're slowing. Should pick up now in a minute. We'll see it jump up to 2, 3, 4, then like 30%, then 40% and so on. It'll take these big jumps. See? 30%. 40. And there we go. Glad you could join us. As Fakir, I remember Mr. Worf mentioning the Fakiri once. I'm beginning to see why. Alright. Speed, fire, will. Yeesh. 
Uh, someone got me in a tractor beam or something. Man, I am moving very, very slow. They're not here. This doesn't move up in tiers, it moves up in levels. Or I suppose it could be tiers, yeah. Whatever. People seem to refer to it as levels. Uh, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Starting to thin them out a little bit. Reading a massive Herc fleet dropping out of warp. Just as the Fakiri are warping out. Looks like the Fakiri are. The, the Herc seem. Are you. And that's it. Not too bad, we only died once. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, let's uh, report in and get debriefed. Our findings today are disturbing. The Fakiri. They were our predecessors. Somehow they rebelled against the Founders and freed themselves from the White. Though it seems to have driven them mad in the process. Something was happening with that strange Herc as well. It may have been trying to communicate. Perhaps it wanted to surrender. We'll never know. The Vorta made sure of that. Typical. One thing is certain. The Founders won't forget the act of defiance from the Alliance here today. You and I both know their retribution can be sudden and severe. Be on guard. Our uneasy peace with the Alliance could collapse all too soon. Right. Uh, so let's pick up our Universal Kit module. And... Uh that is that. The only so, one I, trust I guess we'll leave it there for this episode. Thanks a million for watching, folks. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And as always, please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. My name is Winters, and I'll see you next time. So until then, take care.